Okay, everyone, I'm going to make my white, easy white bread, Michelle's easy white bread recipe. Okay, so you're going to need one tablespoon of yeast. I get my yeast in a package at Costco, and I uh, keep it in a, a mason jar in the freezer, and it never goes bad. It lasts, I, have, I buy one and it lasts years. So... You want to get your yeast, and if you if you think it's too much, keep it in the freezer. One tablespoon of yeast, two tablespoons of sugar. Now it's important to put that sugar in. That's going to wake up your yeast, okay? You need something to wake up your yeast, and the sugar does the job. Okay. Then you're going to add two cups medium warm hot water. You want it a little warm, extra warm. Mix it up. You're going to let this sit for 10 minutes. And just don't touch it. Just leave it sit here. The sugar will wake up the yeast and you'll see the foam. Okay, we'll be back in 10 minutes. Mix it. Give it a good mixing. Okay, you see how that foamed up? That's what you want. That way you know your yeast is alive mm -hmm. okay now you're going to add five and a half cups of flour i got my handy dandy measuring cups here at the thrift store this is a two cupper and then i got a one and a half cupper very rare to find that <coughs> Okay, so I'm going to go add five and a half cups of flour to this. Okay, now you're going to add one teaspoon of salt. And two and a half tablespoons of butter. That is it for the ingredients. I'm sure you have everything on hand. Yeah. So I'm going to bring it over to my mixer and we're going to mix this up until the sides are all clear on the on the bowl. If it's not doing it, then add a little more flour. Sometimes you need extra flour, sometimes you don't. Okay, let's bring it over to the mixer. Okay, I use my dough hook. And I just let it go until I said, to like I said, um, the sides are all clear. I'll show you. Oh. What? Start off slow, then go fast. It'll do the work for you. If you don't have a KitchenAid mixer, you need one. Tell your husband you need one, Michelle said. See how that all come up out the bowl into a ball? That's what you want. Let it go a couple more seconds and then we're going to take it off there. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to take this ball. I spray my hand usually. Just olive oil. I spray it around the bowl. Get it all up into a ball. See that ball? Okay, spray the bottom. What you're going to do is just form it into a ball. And you're going to let this rise. F sit covered for one hour. Okay, now you want it in a warm spot, not where it's cold. So if it's cold in your home, put it in the oven with the oven off. Don't put the oven on. <laughs> okay, we're going to cover it up with a pretty uh, tea towel. I'm going to use my Easter one today. There, and we're going to let this be for one hour. Okay, our bread 
has rose for an hour. Now what you're going to do is punch that down. Now this recipe you can make bread, buns, sub buns, whatever you want. It's, uh, yeah, you can make anything out of this bread that you would, you know, want buns, subs, hamburger buns, hot dog buns, and it's easy. So what I do now is I just knead it a little bit. Now, sometimes I make two small loaves, and sometimes I make a big loaf, like here. Like, this is a big, big loaf. And uh, that's what I'm doing today. So just knead it a little bit. A little bit with your hands. And then I just roll it into like a log. Tuck it all in. Tuck it in, tuck it in, tuck it in. <laughs> and then I put it in the, in the bread pan. Now we're going to let it rise. I like to have, I like to make it nice, <laughs> nice and even. Yeah. Now we're going to let it rise for another hour, uncovered. But I'm still going to put it in the, uh, in the oven with the heat off. Because it feels chilly in here. Okay. Back to rising for an hour with uncovered. Don't cover it up. Okay, after an hour, the bread should have rose. And you're going to put it in your oven at 350 for 35 minutes. I usually go a little less in my oven because it cooks fast. So, we'll see you guys when it comes out of the oven. Okay, when your bread's done, put it on uh, the counter and let it sit for 10 minutes before you take it out of the pan. Okay, after 10 minutes... You're going to put it on a rack to cool. And then you can eat as much bread as you want after. <laughs> Take it out of the pan. It should come out. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned to spray the pan. Oh, dear Michelle. This is a big loaf of bread. I usually make two separate. But, yeah. I want to make a big one. Okay. That's how you make Michelle's homemade bread. Enjoy with butter and peanut butter and dipping in soup. Thanks for watching, you guys. And I hope this video is useful for you. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? Can you smell it? <laughs>